Welcome back to the greatest show on earth. We're about to drive and jive. <laughs> Talk. This is Jeff with two Fs and you're Ginger Snaps now? Ginger Snaps now. <laughs> well, for the last couple months. I yeah. got a nasty clone account. Oh, yeah, okay. Nasty fucking... We're going to do brass tax and we won't talk about it. We had, we had a little subject. Oh, uh... Presidential pardons. Presidential Very exciting. pardons. <laughs> and we've, we've got a, all that stuff with political, but we're not going to talk about that. You have to go to my BitChute account or my Rumble account to watch videos on that because we can't talk about that stuff over here. But, oh, uh, Tiger King didn't get pardoned. I he know. had a limo waiting for him, a hairstylist, a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. But I'm disappointed in who did ask for a pardon. Keith Raniere. Oh, that guy is something else. Like the nerve of it, Keith Raniere. I can't believe he asked for one. I don't, I don't even think it was possible. If you guys are following the Nexium sex cult situation... Oh, that is like that. That situation has it all. It if y'all has... haven't, go watch some documentaries and come back and leave a comment because yes. we want to know your thoughts. My thoughts are this: Allison Mack, she is yet to be sentenced, guilty or innocent. I don't know. You don't know. You haven't made an opinion yet. No, because he manipulated them girls so bad. So it's kind of like in the middle. You know what I'm saying? There is some things, but calorie reduction, no sleep. I mean, they put him through some crap. Plus, these and people were hypnotists. Whose mom was on Dynasty or whatever, and she's part of the royal family. India Oxenberg, Catherine oh, okay. Oxenberg. Okay. Yeah, that mama, she did it all to save her where daughter. Did we out of this where do we watch the documentary that was based on their the cast? Well, we watched Seduction on Showtime. Yeah. And then we watched The Vow, which was HBO. There was one that was based mainly on the mother, the girl from Dynasty. It was the seduction one from, I think it was Showtime. That one was good. I, was I it enjoyed Showtime? that. It might have been Stars. I think it, it might have been Stars. Stars. Yeah, because yeah. we got HBO Max Stars. And we watched The Vow. And, and we watched The Vow. The Vow was pretty good. It's kind of long, you know, but well, it's pretty I'm good. I'm reading um, Sarah Edmondson's book right now. And, you know, it it's like... Some of these people that got mixed up with this cult, they're like very intelligent people. Like they they're are. not they were very intelligent people. You know, but you're dealing with hypnotists and it's like you want to feel bad for them, but then you think about it like some of the shit that they did, it's like I would never I would think that I would never fall for that, right? Yeah. You know, you tell yourself They thought like, the same thing. Yeah, like they they didn't think they were in a cult. Yeah, this guy uh, what's that documentary that I have downloaded that I have not watched yet. It's the one on it from Investigation Discovery. If y'all can it's... find that one from Investigation Discovery, y'all watch that because i got to watch it too. So we could talk about it later or bring it. they can leave comments right. and we have something to discuss. Because I still haven't watched that one. I still have to. Well, see, now they're getting into could he possibly be a murderer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, because the, the, all his partners went up with cancer or some other strange situation. Strange situation. That guy, Weird he's suicide just... things. And he's, he's a pedophile, too. I mean, they did. They found child porn. He's a pedophile. You know, he also um, just really manipulated these people in the sex That's cult. Why, and it's it's like, like a whole Gypsy Rose. You're, it's kind of like, well, I don't think Gypsy Rose should be in prison. But when you deal with manipulation and messing with somebody else's mind. Because uh, with N Nancy NLP and Salzman, stuff. who was the other co-founder of Nexium, she was a hypnotist, right? Yeah, it said NLP if, and Neuro Linguistic Programming. That's where you use words to hypnotize people. I kind of know a little bit about it, and it's it's an old school technique that it, that it's more like subliminal messages, you know. So, but, but you yeah. guys gotta if you guys being in quarantine has had us all just like so bored. But, if you want to fall down a rabbit hole, look up this whole Nexium cult that, situation. It, it, it is a major rabbit it is hole. Like, and the stuff he was into back in the 80s and 90s and yeah, MLMs because I remember the, some of the commercials that he was Consumer buy right, yeah. yeah back in the early this 90s. This guy, he was supposedly, he was in the Guinness Book of World Records for the, the world's highest IQ, which I don't... He was only in the Australian stick. version. That come to find out um, he did a take-home test that nobody watched him take. He took it home for however many days or weeks. Yeah. You know, so there, there's... I looked into those tests, but they're difficult. Even if you could, like, take them home with you, they're, they are, they're not easy. What's well, allegedly. Yeah. I and mean, he may have not have done it himself. Stick, you know, it, does, it doesn't even mean that, you know, even any well, IQ Well, the test. American Guinness Book of World Records did not recognize him at all. Yeah, he just, he's had a checkered past. It's kind of interesting, but at the same time, you know, he has this 
Messiah complex, I believe, as well. I mean, I just, you look at this guy, and he looks like a fucking hobbit. He is, <laughs> like, not the most attractive man at all. And, you know, the fact that he can pull off having a harem of, like, sex cult members is just mind-blowing to yeah. me. And the test is to have, have in relations with him. I'm careful with this, some of the words we use, because YouTube's kind of weird about some of that stuff lately. But yeah, some the, some of the tests the girls had to go through to be in relations with him, and right. they, they would get to. over their past traumas if they were had to have relations with him. I'm using relations in quotation marks. Even well, though he, can't he see acted me. as if he had like you know superpowers, and he would act like it was like hurting him if these women weighed over a hundred pounds. That's another thing where you get to where these women were guilty because they were only allowed to have like a thousand calories a day. Uh-huh. No, it was more like some of them were on five and six hundred calories that a day. Is, that is tough. I mean, I can yeah, five. I, I, when most I, people could drink five <coughs> or six hundred calories. I think that's why I enjoyed keto because no when sleep. I was restricting calories, I mean, there was times where I wanted to eat pizza and I'm like, oh man, I'm like restricting calories. Yeah, you know, well, if you eat two slices of pizza, you're <coughs> at six to eight hundred calories. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, but yeah, that's what I'm not sure about if these if you should be guilty if you were. You don't go in think you think it's a normal just like I'm like like the old uh, what was that thing the old girl Leah Remney was doing the science Christian scientist with David Scientology Miscavige, Scientology with David Miscavige where they're like the Thetan levels it was the same thing it was this well, he took and they showed one one document that he took different pieces from, from these different, different cults yeah and, and they and didn't used know <laughs> like people and, didn't know that they're basically just like you know practicing some of the same shit they did in Scientology. They were trying to just better themselves is what they thought, but they, the more the deeper they got into it and got in the scarves or the sashes. The sashes. Because people just want to be a part of something, like you said. You said that this, they want to be a part of something, then you start getting these sashes and you start moving up in the thing. And, in the ranks. And it's just... I, I, I think before you and know it, you're in quicksand. And they make all these friends, and all these friends care about them. And oh, then the guy, the director, or the guy who made the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know... He, yeah, the, he that one he was he was amazing. Mark Vicente. Yeah, and um, and yeah. Allison Mack from Smallville. I mean, she's going down, y'all. She was arrested and charged. She's too with, skinny now, though. <laughs> yeah, she she looks she got like a bobblehead. Way bobble head. too skinny. But you know, she's she could go down with Keith Raniere and get like years in prison and the, and because the, she had you know she she was a slave master who had slaves. And she, you know, in order to be in the sex cult, you had to give up something called collateral, whether it be like embarrassing um, family secrets or even if you had to lie, because some of these people said they lied and said some of their family members molested them, even though it wasn't true. And the, yeah. these letters would be addressed to the media. They they would take pictures of their their JJ who nanners. Vajayjay, we'll say Vajayjay, <laughs> and you know that would be their collateral. And and if they like didn't do what they were told to do, they would be threatened that their collateral would be released. Blackmail. <laughs> that is what it Black is. Blackmail against mail. yourself, and that's illegal. So Allison Mack, I mean, she could go down. I mean, but she got to get the collateral. So I mean, she was doing because she was forced to. So where do you get to the point, you know? It's and like, also, she was also, could have been brainwashed, allegedly. And that's why I go back to the Gypsy Rose. I, I The Gypsy Rose shit pisses me to flying F off, because I don't think that girl should be in prison. I just feel like I've seen, like, if you look into this case and you hear about some of the stuff that Allison Mack did, I'm on the fence. Sometimes I think she's guilty, and the things that she's done are so despicable. That's the problem in this country, is that they want to be like, well, the law says, yeah, it, and we gotta throw you in jail, not rehabilitate you, throw you in jail, you know, and it's supposed to be real, but you're not, you're not doing anything, you're just... They use it as punishment. It's not rehabilitation. I really think that a lot of these women need help being deprogrammed. Yeah, you're right. And, oh, uh, and that was another thing. Keith Raniere, he like, he had um, got connected with the heiresses from the Bacardi. Oh Rob yeah, the Fortune. Bacardi girls. Yeah, yeah. He, the, he, the, he, he finagled them too. And, like, he would use their money to, like, go after his enemies or anybody that defected from the cult. Even their dad was like, that's a cult, the girl's dad. Yeah, and they... Was like, they, she, he was against it, too. And uh, So, a lot of these people were so scared to, like, speak out because they seen what happened, you know, having... Rick Ross, he was a, um, 
cult expert, okay? Like, you would, you, you I'm sure if you've seen certain shows on, on cults in the past, he's usually one of the talking heads. He's one of the people that they go to. He's written many books on the subject. He has studied cults for years and years and years. Okay, Keith Raniere sued this guy and kept him in litigation for like seven, seven years. Yeah. Um, just because he had, you know, chimed in or, or, yeah, like, he would. had some, some stuff on his website about Nexium. Yeah, I remember that because he would just like just drop lawsuits on you like crazy. It was crazy from these Bacardi twins or girls that yeah, would I give mean, him he, the money to do it. He he like he spent what did he waste like twenty six million dollars of theirs in just like uh, frivolous the commodities? Lawsuits. No commodities. Like he oh. was playing the in the commodities market and lost millions of these oh, women's man. money, and you know. It's just crazy to me. Like well, you see how, how every cult starts out where it's trying to better yourself. You're trying to think you're going into something yeah, to better well, yourself. Before it became Nexium, it was called the Executive Success Program. Yeah, it was something about better yourself in your professional lifestyle in every aspect of your life. You know, and, and become a more professional, more uh, successful person. Pretty much is what it was. Yeah, how to like you know? not you know like make excuses and and you take control of your life and. You know, I could see where it would have started out being a good thing because some of these people, even the ones that have defected and realized they were in a cult, said there were some of the practices that did help and them. And that's I mean, another thing. They pick and choose because, I mean, there's people who defected and left, but they were part of it too, and they're not in trouble. Yeah. Well, that's because they were state witnesses. <laughs> yeah. Um, which Allison Mack wasn't. I mean, I don't know if she... I heard that she decided to help the police later on. I know India Oxenberg was the, f like, she she probably would have been charged had she not started helping. So, India has not been charged and she probably no. won't be. Probably because she, she's part of the royal family. That too. That's and, probably part well, of it. Okay, these girls were also branded. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the that's, branding was just... That's what blew this whole case out of the water, but... India found the recordings of Allison Mack and Keith Raniere because apparently Keith Raniere was supposed to not be a part of this cult, like or or the the sex. Well, India's mama was on the phone telling him to call call Prince Charles and get something done. Yeah, I mean, when you call amazing. Prince Charles, can you call the Queen, please? You don't mess with them people. <laughs> well, India turned over a lot of like evidence that was used in the trial to help convict. I don't think any, anything will ever happen to India if, as long as I the royal it. family backs her. They have so much pull that I can't believe they didn't get. A, if they that may have been why Keith Raniere would never even had a chance to get a pardon because all they could pick up and call Trump all they wanted to. <laughs> yeah, they could have called him straight and said, "Hey, here, listen here, buddy." So, you know? so who else got pardoned? Little Wayne. Yay. Little Wayne. No, they got clemency, which is a little bit different. It's kind of like it's not really a pardon. Okay. Little Wayne, some other rapper, and some, some. The football Tiger player, King. I, I, I was. I, well, I'm more upset that Julian Assange did not get a pardon, but they held that over uh, over Trump's head, and blackmailed him and said, "If you do that, we're going to do this." Right. You know, and that that's public knowledge that that happened. But I, a lot of people on on the on the. Uh, not who who, do, who really don't care about celebrities. We care more about you know what really happened in the world. And hey, Jill, I care Jill about Nassan, celebrities. Okay, I wanted Jill, Tiger King to get his pardon. I, I, well, I did want to see Tiger. He had, he had I his did limo see ready. Tiger King he had the pardoned. hair and the makeup team yeah, available. I want to see Discovery coming up to him, TLC coming up to him with some contracts. Right. You know, I wanted to see him pardon. I did, but it didn't happen. I, I but everybody was hoping on the channels that I talked to. We were all hoping for the Julian Assange. Yeah. That's at least the one that would get it, you know, because Chelsea Manning got got pardoned, I believe, already. So, well, hell. But anyways, this is. Uh, uh, if you guys, if any of y'all are following the Nexium thing, what do y'all think? Allison Mack is she? Is she Allison Mack from Smallville? Guilty or innocent? Yeah, I think she's guilty, but I don't know if she should go to books, prison. Go we, we're in quarantine. It's probably about, like get locked down because of new the new president. Yeah, we're worried about that. Yeah, but I've so. been pretty much locked down anyway because of my medication situation. Mon Humera, well, so I have to be extra Y'all go find cautious. some of these documentaries. Uh, I don't know where they're all at. I mean, besides, you might find some on YouTube. Actually, there might be some already on here. And, the uh, Val. Tell us what you think. We want We want your input. We want You, you have a place it. where you belong over here. <laughs> you can be over here talking about intelligent things with us. About Nexium cults. Which, when you first told me about it, I was blown away. Well, what? Whoa, 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 what? 
Watch Some of these cases head. you come to me with, I'm like, the but hey, there's one case. If y'all can help me find, I cannot find. Old boy was murdered. Somebody he was a convicted murderer, right? And he went and got married and made a whole new life. And they could not catch him because he put liquid band aids on his fingertips. Oh! And they had to put him in jail on some other stupid trumped up charge to get him long enough where he could that stuff would wear, wear off and wash off, and they could get his fingerprints. Oh, did you I ever see the one with case. the doctor that like? put the fake blood in his arm. So oh, like, yeah, oh, I remember that, that one. Crazy. Yeah, that was, oh, my gosh. So. But, uh, anyways, we're going to get on out here. This was Jeff with two Fs. Good old <laughs> Jeff with two Fs, buddy. And uh, Ginger Snaps. <laughs> well, at least for the last couple months. <laughs> yeah. So, if you see a, a and Jamie... And if you see a Jamie see Hicks, it is not me. I am not talking <laughs> shit to everybody on we're YouTube. Watching, we're watching documentaries and, and investigation discovery and... Man, my brain is like blanking out. What? Who's dude's name we always watch? The cop. Oh my, oh. my, my. What do we have here? Joe Kenda. <laughs> Kenda. Kenda <laughs> is the man. He's on, he's on his last season. Man. That's such a bummer, man. Yeah. Joe Kenda's. Last time I was watching Kenda, they... He did it. He solved the murder from the 1800s. That he's such a badass. He is a badass <laughs> man. He was so good at his job. He solved the murder from the 1800s. And we just need Joe Kenda to go around America somebody wrote and solve the, all our crimes. Somebody wrote the, the their statement on a on a board and nailed it in a house. You're kidding me. Yeah, and Joe Kenda got that. the board. I think I fell asleep. <laughs> We do. I, I fell asleep that. in the middle of, but still, it's okay. from the 1800s. We gotta watch that again. That was. Amazing. He wrote his confession on the board, nailed it in the house. He was building a house, and the house was in the 1800s, and they was remodeling the house, and they found the board with a confession. And they showed on it. it over there to Kid Daddy. Yeah, he said, yeah. I'll solve this. Up. Yeah, he. I'll solve that. He solves crimes from Joe any Kenda, time in history. Joe Kenda, he started solving crimes before he, DNA. He, he, he'll he be solving next before CSI. Next season, he'll be solving crimes in the future that ain't happened yet. Fuck yeah. That's how best. that's how how he is. He is about it, about it. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy this new thing that's coming up with quarantines and lockdowns. If it happens, get back with us Let's on some next Y'all have a good one. Redneck and Jamie out. <laughs>